Welcome to the Defense and Airspace Report. I'm Vaga Maradian from the Farnborough International Air Show outside London. And we've got with us my good friend, Rich Safran, who's with Buckingham Research. Uh, he's a private equity analyst on Wall Street. But before he went to Wall Street, he was an engineer at Northrop Grumman, and you worked on stealth and counter stealth. And I know that there's a lot of things you can't tell me, otherwise you'd have to kill me. But uh, at this air show, the F-35 is the bell of the ball. Uh, and it's making its debut here. Um, and there are a lot of companies that are selling products uh, and uh, aircraft, and they're saying, this is very detectable. We figured it out. It's a statement that we've also heard from, from the Russians. Uh, you know this technology better than almost anybody else here, unless they're working for some of the companies directly. Um, how much water does that hold? How easily detectable is this aircraft or even the F-22? Because some folks are saying, our aircraft can spot it and shoot it down, no problem. Vago, I, I think that it's always easy to make these claims that you can see it. Um, I think in practice, however, it's much more difficult. I think that, you know, for example, you know, when they design these systems, they have a very good understanding of what the threat is and design a system to counter that threat. After all, you have to remember, it's a lot easier to develop a coating and a material that defeats radar than it is to develop a brand new radar. So um, I think that, you know, the F-35 is very robust technology. Uh, I think it's going to be very difficult to, uh, to see it. I think it's going to be very tough on the battlefield to defeat it. Um, do you think that, it, uh, how do you, you know, there are some folks who look at the sales prospect of the aircraft, they, they look at it as constantly adjusting it downward. Do you think that they're going to make the full build of up to 3,000 aircraft? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, you have to better, there's always, when you have a program like this, there's always some skepticism, sir. But as the F-35 gains more acceptance, as it's used by more countries, as it's adopted, you know, by the Air Force, the Navy, and the Marine Corps, um, I think you're going to see far more, um, I think you're going to see actually probably maybe far more built than actually, you know, the original assessment were. After all, uh, I don't think anybody expected the F-16 to sell as many as it did and to sell for as long as it did. So I think the F-35 could come down a very similar path. What are the big stories here from your standpoint, whether on the commercial and the defense side? Uh, I thought the uh, the big stories here t this year were a lack of uh, significantly uh, a significant lack of orders. I think that the orders were even below my expectations. I thought there would be roughly 200 aircraft order, commercial aircraft orders at the show. Uh, there seem to be so far far fewer than that. Um, um, even counting the uh, Air Asia order, I think that you know just order flow just seemed to be uh, um, order flow just seemed to be very lackluster this year. Doesn't this put some of the big contractors like Airbus and Boeing that have looked at the commercial cash engine to underwrite some of their defense work, some of their M&A and other projects, in, internal investment, doesn't that put a big pinch on them at a time when there is an inflection point in the defense market? Certainly Boeing and Airbus in different ways are going to be feeling it. You know, that's that's true. You know, when you, know, when you have a commercial downturn, you know, that's usually offset sometimes by a pickup in defense this year. Um, you know, this year you haven't, got, you haven't seen that yet. I think you're going to see a big pickup in defense um, overall, but I think that yeah, this is really going to put a pinch on the commercial airframe manufacturers, most importantly on their cash flows, which I think is all important to investors. Rich, thanks very much for joining us. My pleasure, Vago. It's really good to be with you.